Okay, Skill Crushers, are you ready for a little bit of a challenge? Today we're going to be talking about CSS classes and IDs. It's one of those topics that can be a little bit confusing at first, but as soon as you get the hang of it, you are going to be soaring like an eagle into outer space or something like that. So today we've been using HTML tags like P tags or H2 tags as our CSS selectors. This has worked great so far, but what if you run into a situation where you actually want two paragraphs and you want them to be styled differently? For example, one of the paragraphs, you want it to be big and bold because you want to call out some big, bold ideas, while the other paragraph needs to just be the regular body text. How would you do that? The answer is that you would use a CSS class or ID. Each one of them can be used to give different elements different styles. But if that's the case, then what is the difference between a class and an ID? A class is a group of elements that are the same or similar. You can have as many elements in a class as you want, and every element can have multiple classes. If it was a car, there would be a class for the brand of the car, like Honda, or the color of the car, like gray, or the year it was made, 2001. An ID is a singular identifier that applies to exactly one HTML tag. You can only have one of each ID on a web page, and each HTML element can only have one ID. This would be like the serial number for your gray 2001 Honda. There can only be one like it. So let's say that you want more than one of these big idea paragraphs on your web page. In that instance, you would want to use a CSS class and write it like this. Big idea, font size 28 pixels, font weight bold. The font size is nice and big and the font weight is nice and bold. Now notice the period in front of the class name. That's how you indicate that a selector is a class. Now you have to also add the CSS class to your HTML which you do by adding a class attribute inside the opening p tag. Now you can add that class attribute to any paragraph that calls out one of your big ideas. Okay, but let's say that although you do want to have a couple of paragraphs of big ideas, you want to be able to call out your favorite big idea by giving it its own pink background. In that instance, you would want to use a CSS ID, which you will write like this. Favorite idea. Background pink. IDs are written just like classes, but with a hashtag instead of a period in front of the selector. And once again, you will need to add the ID to your HTML, this time using the ID attribute instead of the class attribute. As you can see, now this one big idea is styled like the other big ideas, except only this one has a pink background. Like we just talked about, this ID can only be used once. This one-time only feature is really helpful for calling out things like page titles and hero images that should be styled in a very special way. One more thing I should call out if it isn't already obvious. Yes, you can use classes and IDs together. So there you have it, classes and IDs. But wait, is the whole distinction between classes and IDs still a little bit fuzzy? Let's just review it one time in order to be safe. Classes can have an unlimited number of elements within that class. Each element can have more than one class. All elements in a class share the same CSS styles. IDs. There can only be one element with a given ID per page. Each element can only have one ID. And you can think of it like a social security number or a serial number for that element. If it seems a little daunting, don't worry. With a little bit of practice, you are gonna be a class and ID master in no time. So go ahead and click next and start practicing using classes and IDs.